Well, but how are you? I've been better, but I'm I'm doing okay. <laughs> I understand. After a game, I guess a special one where the kicking isn't up to your standards. What is your discussion and input with Chris and Frank on how you evaluate things on whether you bring kickers and whether you stick? What's your input with that? We evaluate every position the same. You know, there's discussions after every game. We we talk through you know our grades and why we graded the guys like we did. So we'll grade the kickers just like we grade the position players. Zach Kiefer. Bubba, this won't be your call, but you are the special teams coordinator. Are you comfortable with Blankenship moving forward? Rod, Rod was, Rod has been pretty consistent to this point. You know, didn't have a didn't have a great performance, obviously in the game. Miss hit two balls on the kickoff, and then the miss at the end of the game. Um, I think Rod's a good kicker. Yeah, I do. I think he's a good kicker and. Yeah. Stephen Holder. Uh, hey, Bubba. Um, you know, I, I imagine that Rod wasn't really working consistently on, or correct me if I'm wrong, on kickoffs before Rico got hurt, or just how how much work had he had on that um, coming in, coming in, you know, prior to Rico's injury? And then the other question would be, um, I know Matt doesn't or isn't really a kickoff guy. Um, do you find that to be true of most punters today or just, you know, what's the typical approach with that lately? I'll start Sorry. off. Sorry. Most, I would say most punters do not kick off. So okay. you know, it's, it's a luxury to have a punter that kicks off and kicks off as well as Rigo did Okay. Uh, for us. Back to the rod and, you know, his developing his kickoffs, he has done a pretty good job. And we have continued since he's gotten here, in 20 uh, to develop his, his kickoffs. He practices them regularly every week in the event that, you know, Riga wasn't, wouldn't be available. He would have to kick off. So we've, we've done a good job of getting his kickoffs to a level where we were comfortable playing him in a game like that. Joel uh, Bubba, when you guys kick off, is it directional or are you kicking for touchbacks? What's the goal for you guys? Everything's per game plan. So there's games where we're, we're looking to force returns. There's game. There's games where we're looking for touchbacks. There's games where I'm just telling the kicker, give me a good ball with hang time. I don't care where it goes. So, you know, everything's per game plan and everything's specific to who we're playing, conditions, weather, all the, all the variables that play into it. So everything's per game plan. Every, every kick's different. We'll go two more here. Nate Atkins. Just curious what your impressions of Matt Hawk are so far and in, in the way the rest of the punt teams kind of adjusted to that change. Matt's done a good job. He's extremely professional, very in tune with his mechanics, consistent. He's got really good hands. He's a really good holder. He's got good hands as a punter, um, consistent with his drop. I like that he's a lefty. He's done a, he's done a good job, Matt. Well, the last one here, Mike Chapel. Well, but yesterday, Frank mentioned that if guys play long enough, their confidence occasionally might waver. Do you sense that with Rod? And if so, what as a coach can you do to sort of boost it? You know, I always tell our players, you know, and the specialists that, you know, when you make a mistake, you know, it, it's it's OK. Like everyone's expected to make a mistake. You're not no one's perfect. You're going to you're going to have ups and downs in a game and things like that. It's how fast can you respond? How fast can you self-correct it? And that it doesn't lead to, you know, being an issue. So I think that, you know, obviously you miss it, you miss a kick or you have a miss hit ball. It's how you respond to it. So I think, you know, there can definitely be some improvement there in that end. Um, just got to correct it faster and not let it compound. We'll actually, we'll actually go one last one here, Joel Erickson. Uh, you mentioned Matt being a left footed kicker. Is that something you got from your days in New England a little bit? I know. Belichick always wanted to have a left-footed punter. I mean, sorry, punter. Um, is, is the left, why, why do you like the left-footed guy? The, the, the rotation of the ball is different. It's just – it's to me, honestly, it's just a little bit harder to judge. It's like catching a pass from a lefty quarterback. You don't see a ton of lefty quarterbacks for whatever reason. The rotation and the spin of the ball is different. 
and you don't see it consistently all the time. So when you're going against a lefty and you have been catching a righty for so for so long, you become accustomed to how the ball is going to fly off a right footed punter's foot. So, you know, having a lefty can be somewhat of an advantage, I guess you could say, because you just don't see a ton of them. Um, but yeah, I think that that's probably in, did I get it from New England? No, it's just, I think it's just a general kicking, whatever you want to call it. 